Peter Barlow here, cardiologist. Now, if you've had a cardiac event, such as a heart attack, a stent, a bypass operation, and you've been in hospital and then discharged, more likely than not, you have been prescribed several medication. Well, there has been for some years now a concept of using a combination tablet called the polypill that encompasses many of these various medicines, but it hasn't previously taken off. Well, today I wanted to go through a recent study where they used a polypill, a single tablet containing multiple therapies in patients who have had a cardiac event. So let's delve into this recent study. So in this study called Polypill Strategy in Secondary Cardiovascular Prevention, and this was the SECURE trial that examined in a randomized fashion, in other words, patients were given this particular poly pill that has a combination of various drugs in it, and we'll go through what they are, versus conventional therapy. And they looked at a total of almost 2,500 patients who underwent randomization and were followed up for up to 36 months. Now, in the end, what they were looking for was in how many patients would a repeat cardiac event occur. And the cardiac events that they looked for was cardiac death, obviously being one of the major ones, uh, a heart attack, a repeat heart attack, a uh, stroke, or the need to have urgent bypass or urgent stenting. And they looked at all these outcomes and comparing the patients who were treated with the polypill versus those patients who were treated with conventional modern day treatments or standard of care. And they found that in 9.5% of the patients who were treated with polypill went on to have a repeat cardiovascular event compared to a much higher rate of 12.7% in those people who were in the usual care group. And this was statistically quite significant. And it indicated that in those patients who had this treatment with the poly pill, there was less likelihood of having another heart event or cardiovascular event. Now, the poly pill that they used combined three different classes of medicines. One, aspirin. Two, ramipril, and that is a type of ACE inhibitor or a treatment that we normally use for blood pressure. And also, one of the more, more common statins in a torvastatin. And they used various strategies in terms of the dosing. So the dosing was different in various groups and they were testing you know, low doses of all these combinations versus high doses. But when they treated patients with the combination of these three medicines in the one pill, after six months, they were less likely to have a major cardiac event. So this is very, very promising and also addresses one of the key challenges that we have with the various medicines. Now, research and science and technology is becoming so advanced, well, we're coming up with new therapies and new drugs to treat conditions. Well, that often means that we're prescribing more and more drugs for our patients. And then sometimes people are taking multiple drugs, three, four, five, six, eight, ten medicines a day, with several of them required two, sometimes three times a day. And you can imagine that the number of medicines and pills that need to be taken have associated with them a significant burden, not only on remembering to take all these medicines and when to take them, but also economically. And the cost of these therapies is significant. 
And I have seen in my patient population that people who have had a heart turn, a heart stent, a bypass surgery, that many are reluctant to continue all of the medicines that we prescribe, either because of various side effects, but also because of cost. So there is something that is attractive about using a single therapy, a single tablet that contains multiple drugs. And that may prove more desirable for people to take or more likely to be compliant compared to administering you know, three separate tablets that need to be taken uh, during the course of the day. So again, this is a very interesting study. It wasn't testing patients who had not had a cardiac event. So that's the key thing here. This is purely for patients who have had a cardiovascular event. And they were looking at what impact using this poly pill over and above standard of care would have on reducing the risks of having further attacks or further events. And this was significant. This was a well-constructed study in many European centers. And I think really lends itself to ongoing research about perhaps new formulations, new dosing regimes, new compounds that may be used as a single therapy to help reduce the burden of repeat cardiovascular events for our patients. So that was a short video just to highlight this recent research that you might find interesting. I guess we all watch this space to see where it goes and whether this becomes clinically relevant and whether we see it in clinical practice. I do feel strongly that it will have a role to play because I know that there are challenges with being on many medication. But until the next video, bye for now.